was dull until you came I was breathless when we first met Couldn't keep my head Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. I make new videos every week on beauty, fashion, and lifestyle, and I would really love to have you stick around. Today I'm going to be bringing you my best of beauty for 2020. Now, this is going to be a rather long video because I have quite a few things to share with you guys today. I'm going to be sharing some body care products, some hair care, some skin care, and of course makeup that I have been loving in 2020. Some of the things I'm sharing today you have seen on my channel before, maybe in a monthly favorites or an Amazon favorites, but there are quite a few new things that I want to share with you guys that I was using towards the end of 2020 that I didn't really have a chance to share with you guys. So this will definitely be a long video. So grab a drink, get comfortable, and let's get right into it. I want to share two body butters that I had really been loving in 2020, possibly even longer, but definitely been more consistently using like on a daily basis in 2020. And the first is going to be the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. I'm sure many of you have tried this product already and can agree with me that this is one of the best body creams there is out there. Um, not only does it moisturize and hydrate your skin, Skin so well and just leaves it so silky smooth. I do believe that it tightens up your skin too. Um, I think it does claim to do that, but I can attest to that. I think it does tighten up your skin. But the scent of this product is probably the best thing about it. It's just so intoxicating. It smells like just I think summer and the beach and all like the delicious scents that you would smell at the beach. A little coconut, a little vanilla. Um, I think there's like Brazilian nut in this too or something like that, but the scent is intoxicating. I actually own the body spray as well as the perfume and every time I either use the lotion or wear the fragrances or layer them, I get so many, so many compliments because again, the scent is just intoxicating. Now, if you don't want to splurge on the Boom Boom Cream, I did find kind of like a dupe for it and that is this Gold Bond Ultimate Radiance Renewal Whipped Body Butter. And this doesn't smell quite as good as the Boom Boom Cream and it doesn't smell exactly the same, but it does have a really nice scent to it and it works, I think, just as well. I think the moisture benefits of this and I think it also does have like a, almost like a skin tightening property to it so I highly highly recommend this one too if you don't want to splurge on this one okay moving on to my favorites in skincare for the face the first thing I want to share with you guys is just this rice wash cleanser the rice wash cleanser from Tatcha now many of you that have been following me for a long time know that Tatcha is one of my favorite skincare lines I just love all their products everything I've tried from them I've absolutely loved and the scent alone of their products is just so nice. It just smells like you're at the spa every time you use them. And they just use such great ingredients and they're so gentle on the skin. And this is supposed to be a moisturizing cleanser and I have very oily skin, but this does not make me more oily. If anything, I feel like it almost like helps my skin because it does moisturize it when I wash my face. And I think it helps me to produce less oils. I've actually been using the Dove Beauty Bar, just their normal Dove Beauty Bar soap, bar soap. And I've really been loving the results. I feel like my skin just feels more hydrated. I feel like in a good way. Now, some of you might think that I'm absolutely insane to be using a bar soap on my face, but I have actually been really enjoying it. So I did want to mention it. And this is such an inexpensive cleanser, as we know, bar soap. I think this is just like over a dollar. A toner that I had really been loving in 2020 and I think has been helping so much with my dark spots on my skin is the Ole Henriksen. This is the transform this is the dark spot toner and I got the jumbo size I had picked this up during the Sephora sale and this has definitely become one of my favorite facial toners ever and yeah I just I think it has definitely been lightening up the hyperpigmentation of my skin I think it's helped to keep my skin clear so I definitely wanted to recommend this to you guys something I had gotten my hands on towards the end of 2020 and I have been using it every single day morning and night since I picked it up is just this Fenty skin fat water and this is it says pore refining toner serum and that is exactly what it is it's a little bit of a thicker toner and all you do first of all I love the packaging I think it's so cute I love to just keep it out on the counter in my bathroom it looks so pretty and I love how you can just twist the top and you just have the little hole here and you just shake out a little couple 
sparkle drops onto your skin and you actually apply it you rub your hands together and you just pat it into your skin and this is also supposed to help with hyperpigmentation that's what I did here and I do think it's helping um, but it also just plumps up your skin and just gives your skin such a nice glow so I don't know if you guys could tell but I think my skin has definitely been looking a lot better as of recently a lot more clear and just like a little bit more like plump and hydrated like I said before but I definitely think this has been helping my skin and if you have not tried this definitely pick it up I do want to try um, the Fenty skin moisturizer and the cleanser but I haven't as of yet but I will definitely be picking that up in the near future my favorite facial treatment mask of 2020 has definitely been this drunk elephant TLC Sakari baby facial and this is just a 20 minute mask that you put on your face and once you rinse this off, your skin is going to feel so super soft. It definitely feels like baby skin, and it feels like you just got in a facial. It definitely helps brighten your skin too and tone it. I can definitely say that this has been one of my favorite masks ever that I've tried and definitely will be a staple in my skincare routine. My favorite moisturizer of 2020 was definitely this one from Ole Henriksen. This is their Truth. Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream, and I love gel moisturizers or gel cream moisturizers for my skin, for my oily skin. They just hydrate without leaving me greasy, and this one, I love that it has vitamin C in it because we all know vitamin C is so great for your skin, especially aging, maturing skin like my own, but I definitely have been enjoying this, and I love the scent of it too, so I normally use this during the day. This is normally like my day cream. I have another product from Tatcha that I wanted to share with you guys that I had been loving in 2020 and that is this Tatcha the serum stick and this is just like a moisturizing balm stick. You can use this under your eyes, on your skin, on your lips, wherever you need some added moisture and I normally use this underneath my eyes because underneath my eyes I'm very dry and crepey and this just helps to just soothe that area and just prep it for makeup and for concealer. Whenever I use this under my concealer, my concealer just goes on so nicely. So if you guys have not tried this, definitely pick it up, try it out. I think you'll really, really love it. The next thing I wanna share with you guys is kind of random and not really a beauty product per se, but it's something I use in my beauty routine every single day and I cannot live without. For many of you who don't know, I have extremely bad allergies. I take allergy medicine every single day, and even on days that I take it sometimes, it doesn't even help. My eyes get so irritated. They burn, they get red, the skin around my eyes starts to burn because my eyes tear so much. And there is days that I plan to film that I can't even film. I can't tell you the amount of times that my eye situation has stopped me from actually filming because I just can't be in front of the lights. My eyes are too irritated. But that being said, a lot of times or most times when I wake up in the morning, my eyes are so red. So I use these uh, Bausch & Lomb, Bausch & Lomb, yes, Lumify eye drops. And when I tell you one drop in each eye, my eyes go from red to like stark white. So these are so, so good. If you guys have not tried these, definitely to pick them up. I'll try to link them down below. Um, I've gotten them on Amazon. You can pick them up in Target. Like I think any kind of pharmacy like Walgreens or anything like that. But if you haven't tried these and you struggle with like irritated and dry eyes definitely pick these up a primer that I had absolutely been loving since I found it and I found it towards the end of 2020 I think like in December I picked it up is this Too Faced plump and prime and this is a luxury face priming primer serum and something else that just like I love this with the Fenty fat water these two things together let me tell you they just prepare your skin for makeup your makeup will go on so nicely because your skin's going to be so hydrated it plumps up your skin and yeah I just I really really like this and again I have oily skin and I never go for any kind of hydrating primers but when I saw that it said plump and prime I like to plump up the wrinkles I have on my face so anything that is plumping I want to try it out and I'm so happy I did because this has definitely been one of my favorite primers ever not only in 2020 but it will be 2021 and 2022 and as long as they make this I will be using it 
I really did my best to choose just one product in every category as to not make this video so long, but there were certain things that I couldn't just pick one because there were two products that I absolutely love, and that being in foundation, I have two foundations that I had been absolutely loving in 2020, and the first one, and I would probably say I like this one a little bit, tiny bit more than this one, but this is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I love this foundation so much. I love this like for every day when I just want like if I want like a little bit of a lighter coverage I think they're both like medium like light to medium coverages that are buildable and this for a shade range I think is my best color match and I use this in I believe it's 2.5 N which is 2.5 neutral and I've also been loving this it cosmetics your skin but better foundation plus skincare claims to be a water light medium coverage natural radiant finish and this too I think is such a great foundation for every single day it definitely makes your skin look like clear and just flawless but it gives it like a very skin like look to it it doesn't look too heavy so I have really been loving both of these and in this one I have the shade medium cool so I cho chose a cool tone in this and this is actually a really good color match for me too so yeah these two foundations if you haven't tried them definitely pick them up now if you guys wanted me to recommend a drugstore foundation that I have been loving in 2020 and even before that is the L'Oreal infallible the 24-hour fresh wear I don't have it right here in front of me but that's definitely a good one too so I'll try to find it and link it down below for you my favorite way to apply foundation in 2020 is with this real techniques face and body sponge now forgive me it's very dirty because I use it all the time but I've gone through several of these I I love them so much and it just applies your makeup so flawlessly I also use it to blend out my contour which I will get to right now and my favorite contour that I've been using is this wonder stick from NYX and I love this so much I don't use it's like a double-ended it's a highlight and contour but I don't use the highlight at all I just use the contour and I have mine in the shade deep I did pick this up on Amazon and I just love it because it's so easy to just draw on the lines that you want to contour and yeah it blends out like a dream and again I use this to blend it out and I just love it and I can't recommend it enough my favorite finishing powder of 2020 would definitely be this one from Patrick Star this is the one size first of all I love the packaging I think it's so cute I love that you have this little like cover here that you can pop open so you're not gonna spill if you have it like in a bag if you put it in one of your bags or you're traveling with it or anything like that it's not gonna open and spill all over your bag I love that so the packaging I love alone um, I love that it comes in a translucent and also a deep I think that's great and I just think it's just such a great powder you can bake with it you can just use it as a finishing powder and it goes on so nicely it blends out beautifully and yeah it just makes your skin look so flawless it definitely blends Away any of your pores and large pores it helps to mask those so I just think this is a great powder and I love it so much one of my favorite bronzers of 2020 and probably of all time is this one from Ilia this is the nightlife bronzing powder and this is in the shade novelty I think this is the darkest of the shades and it's just such a nice bronzing powder it blends out so beautiful I, I just want to swatch it for you so beautifully um, I love to contour with this and just to like warm up my face bronze up my face so yeah if you haven't tried it definitely give it a try before 2020 I never use blush I always just use bronzer I was never a fan of blush but in 2020 I figured I had to broaden my horizons and start to experiment with some blushes so I did find quite a few that I liked and I shared on my channel but my favorite of all the bl blushes that I had used and tried out was this Burt's Bees blush and this is in in toasted cinnamon I don't know why I couldn't remember that but this is more of like a warmer tone it's more of like a bronzy tone that's probably why it is my favorite um, but yeah I just love this blush I think again it blends out beautifully I'll try to swatch it a little bit over here I still have some of the bronzer on my hand but it blends out beautifully it's very very easy to use if you're not someone who loves to like use blushes and stuff like this I think it gives a very natural look so yeah I can't recommend this enough and I will try to link it down below okay moving on to eyes I have quite a few things to share with you as far as eye products go but the first thing I want to share with you has definitely been one of my favorite of 2020 and also of all time and that is this 
mascara from Essence. This is the Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara, and this is in like the teal color. There is a purple one that I use too, and I absolutely love that too. I think that's like more of like a volumizing, but this one does just what it says. It gives you more of like that false lash look. It's what I have on my lashes today, and this is the brush just to show you guys and I just think this is such a great product it's so inexpensive it's like five dollars or under if you get it I think I got a couple during Prime Day on Amazon for like less than four dollars so yeah this is a really great product you can get it at Ulta you can also get it on Amazon I'll link it down below but definitely one of the most inexpensive best mascaras I've ever tried I have two eyeliners that were definitely my favorite in 2020 one for my waterline and one for my winged eyeliner and that is these two right here. The first one is the Stila Stay All Day, and this is a waterproof felt tip liquid eyeliner. But what I like about this one is it's dual ended, so you get the very small, oh, sorry, that's the regular size. You get the regular size, which I had used in the past, but when I saw this, I really wanted to pick it up for this end, which is the very, very tiny end. And this is so great. It gives you such a precise line, so it makes doing winged eyeliner so, so easy. It is so black and so matte, which I love in an eyeliner. And what I've been loving for my waterline is this eyeliner from Wet n Wild. This is the Breakup Proof, and this is a retractable liner. As you can see, it goes on so dark and so black it applies so nicely and I normally like more of like the coal liners for the inside um, for my waterline because they just apply really easily but this one applies so nicely it stays on all day it doesn't like come off if my eyes are tearing and stuff like that it doesn't come off it stays put and yeah and it's only a couple dollars so you really can't go wrong with this Okay, I have some brow products to share with you, with the first one being this NYX The Brow Glue. And this is exactly what it claims to be. It is like a glue for your eyebrows. So, I just want to show you guys. It's very, very thick, so you have to be careful when you apply it. You have to kind of like, you know, wipe off the brush a little bit. But it is such a great, that's the brush, it is such a great eyebrow gel or glue. It will keep your brows in place all day long. They will not move. And yeah, I really, really like this. And this is a newer product. I did pick this up in December. So I'm not sure like if everywhere has it. I think I picked this up from Ulta. I think Amazon might carry it now or you can get it directly from NYX. So I will try to find some links for you and link it down below. And another brow product I've been absolutely loving in 2020 is this Anastasia Dip Brow Brow Gel. And I have shared this on my channel before. I love this stuff. It's so nice. I love the brush on it. It allows you to coat each and every brow hair um, just very easily. I have mine in the shade medium brown and once you apply this it's going to stay on all day. I had tried a ton of brow pencils in 2020 but the winner was this one from Benefit. This is the Precisely My Brow pencil and I have this in shade number three and I just love how precise the tip is. It makes it so easy. It's so fine. It makes it so easy to kind of like if you want to draw on some hair strokes which I always recommend to do your brows to do it like in a more natural like hair stroke fashion but this makes it very very easy. It stays on really well and yeah I just love this. I think this is a great product. I have two eyeshadow palettes to share with you guys that I was absolutely obsessed with in 2020 and I'm still obsessed with them and I use them both on a daily basis and those are these right here. The first one is the Soft Glam palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I just want to show you guys. First of all I love that both these palettes come with a dual ended brush. I think that is great and they come with like a nice mirror but these are the colors. These are both like neutral nude palettes but yeah I just think these are so nice. The pigmentation of the shadows you can't go wrong. They're just I just love them both. And the next one is this Naked Honey from Urban Decay. Again, same type of palette. I'm sorry, I have black all over my hands from the eyeliners. But yeah, same type of situation. You have the mirror and you have all of these neutral colors. You have some shimmers in this one, which I really like, which I don't know if you do in this one. Let me just check. I'm sorry, you have shimmers in this one too. So, I mean, basically they're kind of the same, but a little bit different. But also you get the dual-ended brush. And yeah, I mean, the colors and the pigmentation of these shadows, you just can't go wrong. And I think these two are like the best neutral palettes that are out there. And I think if you have both, you don't need any other palette. And yes, I stand by that 100%. Okay, moving on to lips with the first thing being this lip mask from Bite Beauty. This is the 
Bite Beauty Agave Nighttime Lip Therapy Mask, and this has definitely been my favorite lip mask of 2020. I got this in a little like trio set, and I actually picked up quite a few for gifts for people, but it came with a scrub, it came with a, like a tube mask or balm, and it came with this guy right here, and this has definitely been my favorite. And first of all, the scent and the taste of it is so good. It's just like a light, like almost like a vanilla-like scent or taste. And it just moisturized your lips so nicely. It just feels so good. And my lips are so, so dry, especially in the winter. So this has definitely been helping with that. I use it on the daily. I use it at nighttime before I go to bed. So I highly recommend this. My favorite lip liner of 2020 is definitely this guy right here from e.l.f. And this is a lip liner that I feel like every time I wore it in a video, I got compliments on my lip color or I got requests from you guys. You wanted to know what was on my lips. This was usually the lip liner that I was wearing at the time. And this came in a little gift pack. Um, I believe I got it on Amazon. It was in one of my Amazon favorites, I believe. But it came with a couple lip liners and I think a gloss. This was the, I think, medium nude that came in the kit. It doesn't have like a number on it or anything like that. I'll try to find the kit again and link it down below for you. But again, this is the e.l.f. Retro Paradise. It was in a lip kit and this is a nude color and it's what I have on my lips today as far as liner goes and I just want to swatch it and it's just like it's like a medium brown nude and it's like the perfect nude and will end lips with a gloss that had made it into so many of my favorites videos in 2020 comes in many many different shades and it is a definite dupe for the Fenty gloss bomb um, but I'm sharing this one this is pearl and this I had on in my last video I believe and I was getting so many compliments on that and DMs about it and this is the Maybelline lifter gloss this is in the pearl let me find an area that and it's just like a clear shimmery color these glosses are so great again like I said first of all the packaging is adorable I love that it's got like the clear it almost it's plastic but it almost looks like glass and it has the nude little top here but these are definitely a dupe for the gloss bombs as I said and they just moisturize your lips so nicely they come in so many like different shades and so many pretty shades again I always get compliments when I use these this is great for a topper or on its own um yeah and they're just they're great I can't say enough good things about them and they're drugstore so they're inexpensive so yeah this was definitely my favorite gloss of 2020. I almost forgot one of my favorite finds of 2020 and will probably be my favorite setting spray of all time and that is this airbrush flawless setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. This is such a good setting spray especially when we're wearing masks. If you want your makeup to stay put and not get on your mask I first of all I highly suggest spraying your mask lightly with the setting spray um, or any setting spray if you don't use this one it definitely helps the transfer and less transfer and also spraying this all over your face and I believe you can use this as a primer too I, I normally do not but I do believe it says that you can use it as a primer but this is just such a great setting spray if you put this on your skin your makeup is not going to go anywhere and it's going to last forever and I do like to I mean you probably won't be able to see it but it does come out in like a very fine mist so I do like that you're not going to get like a lot of big like globs of the setting spray on your skin so can't say enough good things about this. This is a little bit more of a pricey setting spray, but it is worth every single penny. Okay, we're gonna finish this video off with some hair care as well as a hair tool that I am absolutely obsessed with. But many of you that have been following me for a long time know that my favorite hair care products are from Moroccan Oil. I love all of their products. I love their body care products too. I've been using the Moisture and Shine line. Now, I normally use their hydrating line, but I wanted to try this, so I picked this up towards the end of 2020, and I have been loving it. It still has that intoxicating scent. I do have a fragrance that I wanna share while we're on the subject of Moroccan oil at the end of this video. I'll share that at the end. So you're, if you love the scent of Moroccan oil, you're definitely gonna wanna watch until the end of this video. But anyway, their shampoo and conditioner and all their hair products are just really the best out there and I love them so much. But if you're gonna buy one thing from Moroccan oil, I highly suggest getting their shampoo and conditioner because they are just my favorite. My favorite hair oil of 2020, and again, probably of all time, is this one from Keratese, and this is the Elixir Ultime, and this is such a good hair oil. This, 
another product that just you put it in your hair it's not going to weigh it down it's just going to give it a very like silky feeling to it and yeah i just can't say enough good things about this if you haven't tried this definitely pick this up i promise you this will probably become your favorite hair care oil another favorite hair care product of 2020 for me was this hair perfume from Gasau. I think I'm saying that right. This is the honey infused hair perfume. First of all, the packaging is adorable. Again, this looks so cute like out on your vanity or something like that. I love packaging. I love packaging that is like simple and sleek like this. But this is such a nice hair perfume if you're somebody who doesn't wash your hair every single day and you just want to freshen up the scent of your hair. It's like a very light, clean scent. Almost like it does have, I guess, like a little bit of a honey scent to it. I can't really describe it, but it smells so good. And again, it's so great if you just want to spray in your hair to just freshen it up. And it is just a fragrance. It's not going to leave any kind of film on your hair or anything like that. So I did pick mine up during the Sephora sale because it is a little pricey. And I'm going to end the hair care segment of this video with my favorite hair tool of 2020. And that is this guy right here. And this is the Dyson Coriel hair straightener and I know guys don't come for me this product is extremely expensive I know that I actually got some birthday money and I purchased that with that money because this is not something that I would purchase on like a regular basis um there are some pros and cons but definitely more pros and cons one of the cons is that it's kind of heavy so you're definitely going to get a workout when you're using this but I have not found a straightener that has done the job that this one has done. First of all, it doesn't damage your hair or maybe it damages your hair a lot less. Um, another great thing about it is it is cordless. So you're not going to have to worry about, well, the cord detaches. So you can use it cordless or you can use it with the cord. A con, when you have the cord, when you're using it corded, I mean, make sure it's charged up because if you're using it corded the cord falls out all the time so you're not going to like that part of it but if it's charged up and you're using it corded you're going to love it because you're not going to have the cord although it comes with a very long cord you're not going to have the tugging of the cord and everything so yeah um all i can say is this doesn't damage your hair or it damages a lot less it makes your hair so straight, so silky, and so shiny. And yeah, I mean, definitely more pros than cons. Would I spend the money again on it? Yes, I would. Um, I hate saying that. I wish I didn't have to say that because, like I said, it is a very pricey product, so definitely try to pick it up when it goes on sale. Um, I know with the Sephora sales, Dyson products do go on sale with that, so definitely pick it up if you want during a sale or ask for it for a special occasion if you want. Valentine's Day is coming up. Definitely recommend this. It's definitely been such a help with straightening my hair and keeping my hair healthy. Okay, I'm going to end this video with my favorite fragrance of 2020. Now, as I mentioned before, any of you who have been on the hunt for a Moroccan oil type scent something that smells like Moroccan oil or similar. I have not found an exact dupe, but I did find something that smells quite similar. And that is this cologne. Now this is a men's cologne, and this is Versace Le Mal or Le Male. I don't know how you pronounce it, but this smells very, very similar to the Moroccan oil scent. Um, so if you guys do like that scent and you're looking for a fragrance that smells like that, I would definitely try this one out. So those are all the beauty products that I was loving in 2020. I know 2020 was an incredibly hard year for all of us. I'm really hoping that 2021 turns around soon and we have a better year. I want to thank you all, each and every one of you. Some of you are new to my channel. Some of you have been with me for a very long time since the beginning, but I am grateful for each and every one of you. And I pray that you all stay safe. I hope you stay healthy mentally and physically. I love you guys and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye guys. Next to you.